All right, question number 81 is from kinematics and it says all the graphs below are intended to represent the same motion and one of them does it incorrectly. So you need to sort out the odd man out. So for that, what you have to see is that you have to carefully go and visualize all the graph here. So the first one is distance time here. The second is the position time in this way. The third is the velocity and the fourth is velocity versus position. One thing what you can see is that just by virtue of experience, this and this represents a same sort of motion where the acceleration is constant. Now you could see when acceleration is constant, then x directly proportional to t square with a constant a and plus of b and plus of c, a parabolic variation. And in that case, the velocity would be directly proportional to a t plus b. Now one thing what I can see is that this and this is representing a similar motion with a constant acceleration. So the first breakthrough has been done. Then even if you see here velocity versus position, this is clearly indicating it starts with a certain velocity and the variation goes v under root of 2 a x plus an additional value which has been brought from v square minus of u square equals to 2 a x. So you could see even this is representing a similar motion and that could just be picked out on the basis of observation and experience. Now since 3 has been found out to be representing a same type of motion, the answer is already there. It has to be distance time. This is not valid for a uniform accelerated motion. The odd man out can be picked or if you go logically, the position part is here. So the distance one, this would be identical to the position part and the next just the mirror image of this. If you see, this would be the distance. The one shown by the white ink would be the distance time graph for this position time graph. This one is not matching this. So clearly option number one is the odd man out and the correct solution. So the solution for question number 81 is option number one. That was more an experience based and a wholesome solving. Let's go to question number 82. All right, question number 82 is taken from the topic current electricity. So the question says there are two batteries of 12 volt and 13 volt and they are connected in parallel across a register which is termed as the load register of 10 ohm. The internal resistances of the batteries are there, 1 ohm and 2 ohm respectively and we need to calculate the voltage across the load. We need to find the range. Okay, so this is again a straightforward formula based question here. Let me make the batteries here with the internal resistance which I will be fitting it here. Another battery is there and this is the polarity. Let me keep the place for resistor and here is the circuit connected in parallel and yes, another load resistor has been kept here. All right, let me fix the value now. If I want to put the value, I will be getting, see, this is 12 volt and 1 ohm of resistance. Then I have 13 volt and there is 2 ohm of resistance and the load resistance is quite obviously given there that's 10 ohm. Now what I need to do is I need to calculate the potential difference across the 10 ohm resistance. Well I can solve it by using KVL but this one is so straightforward you can use the concept of combination of cells which are in parallel. So if this is E1, R1, E2, R2 what would be the equivalent EMF? So that is going to be say E1 R2 that's 12 into 2 is 24. This is the equivalent EMF I'm calculating plus E2 R1 that's 13 by R1 plus R2 that's 3 and this is coming out to be 37 divided by 3. Likewise, let's even calculate the equivalent resistance and that's a straight way 
the combination of parallel formula goes, right? So that's going to be 2 divided by 3. All right, now since we have calculated this thing, let's try to plot it and let's try to make a figure out of that. So here is the battery and this is the space for the internal resistance I have kept it and there is the situation. Now the internal resistance has been calculated the equivalent part. So this comes here and this comes here. Let us just write the value. E equivalent is 37 by 3, right? So that is straightforward. R equivalent is 2 by 3 and this is going to be 10. Now the question demands the potential difference across this point and this point and does it require any big skills? I do not think so. It is a straightforward one. So the value of the potential difference across that the V required is going to be 37 by 3 multiplied by 10 upon 2 by 3 plus 10. That is straightforward. And you know I had calculated it before recording else even it is a very small and a simple calculation the value comes 11.56 of course the unit which is volt and yes now 11.56 has to be chosen out of this so no prize for guessing that goes option number one so the correct option for question number 82 is going to be option number one let's move for question number 83